All new on 13 Action News Live at 6, Steve Wynn's resignation as CEO of Wynn Resorts is the latest casualty of the Me Too movement. But tonight, one retired CEO is speaking out about why he thinks this might end up having the wrong effect on women in the workforce. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Manin is live near Valley View and Desert Inn to explain. Leslie. Steve, Trisha, well, this new wave of women standing up against sexual misconduct has led to all sorts of changes. But tonight, one CEO believes it may be preventing women from getting the jobs they want. From the entertainment industry to the gaming world, women everywhere are standing up against sexual misconduct in the workplace. It's a new day. It is the era of the woman now. The latest case has brought this movement right to the Las Vegas Strip. Casino mogul Steve Wynn stepping down as CEO yesterday after allegations he sexually assaulted employees. But is time really up? I have a big concern. <clears throat> and it's what's going to happen in hiring going forward. Mark Yosiloff is the director of UNLV's School of Gaming and Innovation and hired hundreds of men and women as former CEO of Shufflemaster. He says this movement will make it tougher for women to get hired, especially when they're up against a qualified man. They might elect to hire the man because they are concerned that down the road, whether they do anything wrong or not, there might be a she said, he said. Yoslov says current CEOs he knows have already opted not to sit in meetings alone with women in fear they would do something to spark a complaint. It's a craziness that no executive wants to have to face. Good men have nothing to fear. But former state senator Helen Foley disagrees with Yosilov, saying this movement is quite the opposite, only pushing employers to take a closer look at the history of who they're hiring. Men should not be fearful of hiring women. To the contrary, they should take a careful look at everyone they hire and make sure that there hasn't been deviant behavior in someone's past. Both did agree on one thing. This new movement is making changes and only time will tell what they are. Well, Yosef did say that he has had to fire people based on uh, sexual harassment allegations. And of course, not hiring someone based on their gender is illegal. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News. Thanks, Liz.